Hi there, Capricorns. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at June 20 through June 26. And there's a changing of the guards this weekend with the sun moving into Cancer, your one on one relationship zone. And the moon will be in Pisces. So it's a very soft, spiritual, um, nurturing, motherly weekend which is exactly what the world needs following on from a horrendous weekend last weekend with the Orlando Florida uh, killings where someone took it upon himself to you know arbitrarily go into a club that he'd been going to for years and just shoot and and injure close to a hundred people so you know it's hard to fathom, it's hard to read about it, it's hard to understand the logic behind any of it. It's, it seems like it's madness. It also seems that it's happening every two weeks, planes being blown out of the sky and the Brussels airport, Paris cafes, the Boston Marathon, you know, uh, we had a thing in San Bernardino in the valley here, not far from where I live in LA. It's, it's just never-ending. I mean, they must have files at the FBI and that that are like, you know, 30 stories high. It's just impossible to predict what's going to happen next, and that's a scary thought. It makes you not want to go to the Hollywood Bowl or Disneyland or Staples Center or, um, you know, in Sydney, the Opera House or the Harbour Bridge or, you know, places of... You know, that, that visitors go and that are so celebrated around the world. And I feel like, you know, we're not going to live like that. We're going to do our thing. We're going to live our life. But now we have this element of hatred and risk. And I really feel that we have to start educating our children and we have to start educating ourselves that any hatred you have towards anyone has to be looked at and you have to make sure that it's 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 contained and that it's even worth the energy of having it a lot of people have issues with people from other countries with refugees with religions with the way people dress i hear it all every day from people and i feel that that's not a reason to go and kill people or to exclude people but it is in, uh, in other people's minds they feel justified in doing it so this weekend make sure that you love the ones you're with and that you you know talk to your children as much as you can about what's happened because you know there's bullying at school and that can create problems because kids who are bullied can often grow up and turn into you know have issues because they've been bullied and you can understand it and I think that a lot of the people that commit these kinds of crimes have some sort of disconnect growing up because it's not rational it's not normal it's not it, it's inconceivable let's be kind to each other Mother Nature and, and the universe are very unhappy with us right now. I can feel it. I feel her cries. I feel her sorrow. I feel her anger. She's given us this beautiful earth with its nature and its animals. And, you know, I want, uh, we're living longer than ever. And we've got, you know, all sorts of wonderful compliments to our lives with all of the new developments and all that sort of thing. People are living longer and healthier than ever, and yet there's so much hate. The hate has to go. We can't live like this. It's not going to work. So this weekend, as I said, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more vigils and talk and talk about gun control and political attacks on each other but as, a hu as humans, as people who are just home with their family, 
I think it's important to recognize that, you know, life is changing. It's not as safe as it once was in any aspect. And we've all got to be on the lookout for each other, definitely, and love one another. So thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll speak to you again next week.